Hi, and welcome back to Hostinger Academy. My name is Victoria, and today I'll show you how to duplicate a page in WordPress. Let's get started. There are several good reasons why you should need to duplicate a page or post in WordPress. The most common intention is for testing purposes. For example, you want to tweak your web design or make changes to the content. Therefore, it is a great way to preview those changes before making them live. You can refer to the clone page as a backup of the original version if something goes wrong. Likewise, duplicate pages also provide a good reference when you need to redesign specific areas of your site. Another great thing about replicating your page is that it can be a huge time saver. Cloning a page allows you quickly create a new page alongside similar content formatting and layout as the existing page. Such a method will save you the hassle of recreating them from scratch. Also, when updating multiple pages with similar content, you only need to modify one of them as the changes are applied automatically to all other copies. And lastly, it makes the migration process of your website easier. For example, when switching domains or hosting providers, cloning your pages allows you to easily transfer the content and layout of your old site. That being said, if you're doing a complete overhaul or relocating content from your WordPress site to another, it's a good idea to take a full backup copy of your site. Check out our previous video to learn how to backup your WordPress site easily. Alright, now that you know the benefits of duplicating pages, let's explore three ways to duplicate a page or post in WordPress. The first option is to use the copy all content function within a Gutenberg block editor. Using this method, you can copy the entirety of your posts or pages to the clipboard with just a single click and paste it into a new location. To get started, sign in to your WordPress dashboard, head to the pages section and choose all pages. I'm going to choose this one, for example, and click edit. Just hover over the three dots icon on the top right corner of the screen. Then click the copy all content option from the drop down menu. A notification should appear on the screen. Now head back to the dashboard and click create a new post. Once in the pages editor, right click, select paste or hit your keyboard's Ctrl plus V shortcut. That's it. The entire copied content is now automatically pasted into a new draft. However, this only makes a new copy of the page's main body content. The metadata associated with the page, including the title, permalink or taxonomies such as categories and tags, as well as SEO data like focus keywords and meta descriptions are not copied. In other words, you will need to set them manually. Keep in mind that this can take a long time, especially if you wish to handle several pieces of content at once. Don't worry, I'll show you two ways to fix it with and without using a plugin. You can enable duplication functionality to your site without a third-party plugin, which involves adding a custom code to your functions.php file. For this tutorial, we will access the PHP file using the built-in WordPress team editor. Of course, you can always opt for the other alternatives to access the file, such as an FTP client or using an HTML editor of your choice. Also, if you're hosting your WordPress site with Hostinger, our HPanel lets you configure the file through the file manager. Now, to access your functions.php file, you need to be logged into your WordPress dashboard. Click the Appearance menu and select Team File Editor. Go to our written tutorial page, which I've already linked in the description below to get the PHP code. Before moving forward, create a backup of your site to prevent data loss. Also, don't forget to double check that you are using a child team. In case of team updates, the duplication function will remain intact. Finally, add the code to functions.php and update the file. If you want to enable the duplication function for WordPress pages, simply add this line of code at the end. The duplicate button should appear in all posts or all pages section in your WordPress dashboard. If you want a code-free method for cloning your WordPress pages and posts, using a third-party plugin is a great option. To do this, head over to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins and click Add New. Now use the search bar function to search for duplicate posts. 
we will use duplicate page and post plugin, so let's install it and activate it. Next, go to the plugin settings page to configure its features. The plugin provides options to select different editors, classic or Gutenberg. Lastly, you can add post suffix and custom text for duplicate pages and posts. For example, I'm going to type something here. Finally, click save settings once you're finished. Now let's hover over a post or page you want to clone and you will see the clone link right next to it. Just click this option, which will automatically duplicate the selected page, saving it as a draft. Open up the editor of your choice and make your adjustments. Once you are done, select Review and hit Publish once satisfied with the final result. And that's it! Now you know three ways to duplicate pages and posts in WordPress. Give them a shot and tell us which method works best for you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might need it. And oh, don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy to get notifications for more WordPress tutorials and other useful tips for managing your website. Good luck and see you around!